Most scaling solutions leave your cryptocurrency vulnerable to hacks. Does a scaling solution with enhanced security and high transactions per second interest you? In today's episode, we discuss Mixing Network. With their high TPS and security features, they offer a unique mix of qualities other like scaling solutions just can't match. Stay tuned for more. My name is Crypto Andy, and it's my privilege to discuss mixing with you. That being said, what is covered in this episode is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Mixin is a layer two scaling solution. It enables other blockchain distributed ledgers to gain high TPS, zero transaction fees, and enhance privacy. Mixin was launched in October 2017 and uses proof of stake plus asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerance consensus mechanism. It would have its main net launch on February 28, 2019. Mixin was conceived in Tokyo, Japan in 2013 by Cedric Fung and is developed by Mixin Labs and is headquartered in Hong Kong. Mixin is composed of a single theoretical kernel, many dynamic domains, and different multi-purpose domain extensions. The mentioned Mixin kernel is a distributed ledger, and its purpose is to verify asset transactions. The kernel or distributed ledger doesn't produce assets. All assets flow via the Mixin domain and the Mixin domain extensions. The mixing extensions is where the ETH contracts, EOS contracts, and many others are initiated. Mixin's native cryptocurrency is called XIN, and it's used to pay for services on the mixing network. Now that we understand the basics of Mixin, let's talk about its tokenomics. Mixin's market cap was not available on CoinGecko, which I found quite surprising. However, on CoinMarketCap, it stated that according to Mixin itself, the market cap of the project is $165,427,000 plus dollars. The self-reported circulating supply is $599,000 plus XIN token. There is a max supply of 1 million XIN tokens and the same total supply. The current price of XIN is $276.94. I am not sure if because Mixin is a Japanese project, less information is available about it, or maybe there just has not been that much use of the XIN token. What I do know for sure is that currently on DeFi Llama, the project is on the leaderboard in terms of total value locked. Now that we have glimpsed on its tokenomics, let's talk about its price and TVL. XIN token is not available on mainstream crypto exchanges, so to find its price action, I went on an exchange called the Big One. I will link in the description below. In December 2018, XIN was at around $60, which is 70% down from its introductory price of around $162 on the Big One exchange. It would then surge to over $332 at the end of June 2019. So in just six months from the lows of December 2018, you could have made a 5x if you knew about XIN. The highest valuation for XIN would come in mid-March 2021, where the price approximated $1,000. Just for reference, I am not including the one price surge that happened in January 2019. The first full year for the XIN token was a pretty wild ride with lots of opportunity to make money if you can handle the volatility that comes with it. Since the November bear market rally, the price of XIN went from $135 to $276 as of March 20th, 2023. Essentially a doubling of value for a lot of altcoins did experience in recent months. Moving on to total value lock, Mixing has three main projects that account for more than 90% of its TVL. First, BWatch, a decentralized ETF-like crypto asset management protocol. Second, Pando, a set of open financial protocols which include a Pando swap, Pando Leaf, a stablecoin network, and Pando Rings, a lending protocol. Finally, coming in third, Exinpool, a staking platform for the Mixing network. I researched BWatch and saw that people who use it are paid in box tokens. The relevant part is that the fund collected go to a mixing network depository address. 
So the mixing network does in fact have increased liquidity investment due to BWatch. Now that we have covered its price action in TBL, let's talk about Mixing's technology. I will first cover Mixing's technology in broad strokes. Each mainnet node needs to pledge 11,000 XIN to participate in bookkeeping, so this is not very accessible at current prices. This means you would need 3 million plus dollars, so it's only for people with that level of money under management. Mixin uses DAG as the underlying data structure, which is commonly used in the blockchain world. What is not common is that Mixin doesn't have a central authority node and data doesn't wait for final confirmation. This makes block time go faster and helps achieve a high TPS rate. Also very important is that Mixin uses crypto node technology. That means that only both parties in a transaction know the other party's identity. That level of privacy really lives up to the freedom most crypto enthusiasts are looking for in their cryptocurrency. Mixin is great at scalability and security. It relies on the associated layer one like Ethereum for decentralization. If you are familiar with the blockchain trilemma, you know only two are really possible. So Mixin is a very interesting solution in the sense of the scalability of other chains and it has some of the best security for a top tier crypto project that I have seen. Most projects at that point really lose their security and become very traceable or not mixing. It could be because they are based out of Hong Kong, China, and they really feel that need for anonymity more than most. Now that we have covered its technology, let's discuss Mixing's founder. Mixing was founded by Cedric Fung. He attended Shandong University in 2007. According to Crunchbase, he was also the founder and CEO of Shio TV. To be honest, there was not a lot of information available on Cedric Fung or to the developers of Mixing Network. This could be because it's China and the information is just not released. I went on Baidu, the Google of China, and it had an article on how Cedric Fung had donated Bitcoin to Julian Assange. This made sense to me that perhaps he is blacklisted for such an action or maybe he just chooses to be as low profile as possible as not to persecute himself or give problems to the mixing network. I will leave it at that and move on to talk about Mixing's partnerships. On October 27th, 2022, Mixing Network announced a strategic partnership with Starcoin. Starcoin is a proof of work blockchain that enables secure smart contracts to power Web3. This vibes well with Mixing's network and values. What Starcoin is hoping to do is provide the infrastructure for Web3. The two blockchains will work together in a market promotion network construction and global community expansion. This means more users to the Starcoin network and gives STC holders a chance to access and use multiple DeFi applications on the mixing network. Both are going to explore opportunities in the network in ways that benefit users and builds Web3 infrastructure. On September 12, 2021, a partnership was announced with Akash Network. What Akash Network does is enable companies with spare computing capacity on-premise or in data centers to lease their unused capacity for cloud deployments. Mixin is integrating with Akash into its multi-chain network ecosystem. This will allow users of the AKT token the chance to use it in practical application scenarios. Cloud computing is, of course, a very hot field in the tech world and it expands the Mixing Network to have this partnership. On June 23, 2021, Mixing announced a partnership with Bytum. Bytum is a blockchain-based open source value exchange protocol. What they are doing is very interesting. Bytum aims to tokenize real-world assets like warrants, securities, dividends, and bonds. This sounds familiar to what Binance attempted to do, and if you want to watch my breakdown of Binance, click on the link above. Users can create assets without limits and have these assets circulate freely with the use of the mixing messenger. If Bison ever really takes off, then this would be very bullish for the mixing network. If you have made it to the end, I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to let me know what information you want to cover in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, my friends.